Hey y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to watch this tutorial. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe by clicking the little red subscribe button below and ring that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every single time one of these videos comes out. So let's get started. I've had so many people ask me how to make a bow and especially how to use this easy bow maker. So we're going to talk about the deluxe easy bow maker because it's actually the one that I scored from a thrift store. You guys, can you believe that I found this at a thrift store? Now I will also provide a link below in the description where you can just order one of these really easily online. But if you get lucky like me, and I always say luck is when you spend more time than every single person else at the thrift store. <laughs> And I found this one for $1. So this is what it looks like. It is literally a long, um, it's about 20 inches long. Um, let's see here. I can tell you the exact number. It's, tw it's 20 and a half inches long. And um, I like to make bows using a mat underneath that is also measured out. So I will link to that below as well. And then um, there's also the great thing about the Easy Bow Maker is there are little measurements on here. So these little measurements um, go to eight inches on both sides, which should be able to accommodate just about every type of bow you wanna make. Now it comes with a spool holder on this end, as you see, as well as a um, set of three different pegs here. So we'll talk about these pegs. The first two are where you're actually going to create your bow. And then the last one is made for you to be able to use on wired. Um, like if you want to add your own wire to the bow, instead of using a Chanel stem or a um, zip tie, which is what I'm going to use. But I just want to, for our purposes, since this is a tutorial about the Easy Bow Maker, show you how to add this wire here. So you would take it and put it around this first uh, peg here, the little short one, and you would twist it, twist it, and put it on either side. Now you are ready to create your bow. And when you're finished, you can slide this up and voila, you already have it wrapped around your bow, ready to tighten it in the center. Okay, that is just one use of um, tightening your bows. So for our purposes, we are gonna actually end up using a zip tie. You can grab zip ties anywhere. I'll link some below, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, all the home um, improvement stores have zip ties. And you can actually get zip ties in different colors and different links. So if you want to color coordinate with your bow, I highly recommend that. And of course, you can go with as many colors as you want. But um, for our purposes, we are going to use this little um, clear, or I call it clear, it's kind of a white one. You can also opt to use a pipe cleaner or Chanel stem in your um, tightening at the middle of your bow option. Um, but I choose not to use this. It's a little less reliable, but what we'll do is when we're finished making the bow and we've actually created the bow and done it like this, we leave it loose. I'm going to add this in here to hang the bow with. So you can definitely use the Chanel stem to hang your bow on your wreath or your door or your craft. Um, instead of maybe say gluing it or tying it on. All right, so let's get started, you guys. One dollar, I cannot cannot express to you how exciting that is for me. Um, okay, so let's see here. These are actually just, they come out, just I wanted to show you how these pegs, when you get it, it all comes out like it's all like this. You have to assemble it and you just are going to tap them down in here. Now you are gonna need a wire cutter for your, um, if you use the wire method um, or if you have any embellishments that require you to snip them with and I also use it just to make sure my little pegs are in there good you don't want them glued down in because you want that little space do you see that little space there between the two pegs you definitely want some space so that your ribbon can fit through 
All right, let's get to the fun part, you guys. We're gonna start by adding the uh, ribbons. So I'm starting with just my very favorite pattern. It's called a Buffalo Plaid or Buffalo Check. And I love the black and white. It is so classic and traditional. I actually have a Buffalo Check obsessed group. If you're interested and love Buffalo Check as much as me, I'll link it as well for you to join us over there. It's a free Facebook group where we share all of our fun creations with Buffalo Check. Now, this is um, gonna just go right on here. I just happen to have this large spool. You guys, I'm gonna link some places that you can shop for wreath ribbon in the description below so that you guys can um, pick what you want and what you like. Now, this is two and a half. I always start the bottom of your bow with the largest ribbon. And for, it depends on what kind of bow you're making, but you may, if you went and make a larger bow, you may wanna go with four, even five or six different pattern colors. Um, but for our bow, we're gonna use two. And I'll show you what I mean. So for the first part of your bow, you're going to measure out your tails. Decide ahead of time how big you want your bow and how long you want your tails. So for our purposes, we are gonna do um, a pretty, Oh, long tail here. This is eight inches, and then I'm gonna back it up to probably about a 10 inch tail. So once you have that, now your ribbon, this one is, you wanna go with wired ribbon, but this one has um, no front or back, and I kinda love that, so you can't really mess up. But um, we're gonna pretend like there's one good side versus another. So when you're gonna place this in here, I again, I measured it out about 10, about 10 inches for that. And then before I put it in here, I'm gonna twist. So I have it here. I'm gonna pinch it in the middle, going with the way that the ribbon wants to go. It's telling me it wants to go this way. Um, so I'm gonna pinch it in the middle and twist. Do you see how I twisted that? I pinched it in the middle and I twist, pinch, twist. And I'm gonna put that right down in there. That's our first step. Woo, you're doing great, you guys. You are doing fabulous. All right, so that leaves us over here with how long do we want our hoops or our loops? And I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do an, uh, let's do a six inch, a six, let's do a, Let's do a five inch loop. So I've taken this back out, pulled it to about the five, and I'm gonna gently get some more ribbon off of here, fold it over. And now I've got a five inch hoop. And again, I'm gonna pinch in the middle, this time I'm going down, and twist. So I pinched and twist. That's gonna give me the first hoop of our bow, all right? Just work with it. You know, that's the beauty of these is that you will be able to play with your bow while it's in the um, Easy Bow Maker here. And then I'm gonna go back over here, pull my tail down, look and see where five inches about is, and fold it over. So this is what we call a single looped bow. And I just twisted it again so you could see. But as you can see, and this is not the most expensive ribbon, your bow is gonna be <laughs> pretty much as quality as your ribbon is. And um, for this particular one, it came on a huge bolt. It was a discount ribbon, so it's not the sturdiest, but it is going to make a beautiful bow all the same. Okay, so we have our five inch, five inch, and we are moving along. So here, you could stop here. This is a beautiful bow, just like it is. Um, but what we're gonna do is add a second set of hoops. All right, I gotta, I gotta get my, my ribbon to start uh, cooperating with me. <laughs> A little better. All right, so I'm gonna go back out here, pull this up so I can see, and I'm gonna go back out here to the five, because these are all the same. These are gonna be the same size hoops. 
There's our twist. And we're gonna do, repeat the same thing over here. Five. Pinch and twist. Okay, so now I have four, four hoops, four hoops for my bow. And then I'm gonna go back down and instead of measuring again, guys, I'm just going to eyeball it with the one, the tail that I already made so that um, knowing that I can, I can always trim it down later. So I am using my fabric scissors, you guys. I know that it's sort of a no-no on wired ribbon, but I know how to sharpen my scissors too, so that is fine. So again, this is a gorgeous bow. We could totally leave it like this, but we are gonna add another layer. So I'm just gonna wrap this other part of the ribbon off, replace this with this ribbon. I absolutely am obsessed with this ribbon. I love the buffalo check on the edges. It's going to bring up the buffalo check on this other uh, this other ribbon. And you notice there's no spool here in the center. So I'm just going to have to kind of eyeball uh, this to get it on here so that it will be on this peg for me. I thought it was going to cooperate a little better, but it's fine. It is fine. We just want it on here. Okay, so we are back to square one with our new ribbon. It is also a two and a half inch ribbon as you can see here. For this one, I'm gonna do the same 10 inch tails and I can use, that's what's handy about this is if you already have your mat down here, you can also use it to um, measure if you can't see the measurements on the bow, uh, Easy Bow Maker. So on this, um, there is no front or back on this ribbon either, but I'm gonna twist it as though there is. So I'm just gonna pinch and twist, okay? So I pinched and twist. That's gonna give me my bow in the right direction. And then we are going to measure out about the same five inches. So I'm seeing it here. I'm gonna pinch and twist. And I'm gonna repeat that on this side, five inches right here. Don't laugh y'all, I'm keeping the $1 on here because I wanna remind myself what um, thrifting on the daily will do for you. Um, you can definitely, I'm going to twist this, definitely find some amazing things um, if you just keep at it. So this is where we have our two. And I think, I think I'm going to, I can't decide how big do we want this bow? Um, I'm supposed to decide that ahead of time. This is gorgeous the way it is, but I think we're going to, it also depends on how much ribbon I have left. I think we're going to do two here. So I'm going to measure it out with this one. I'm gonna find this tail again. And this is just my cheat little way of how to eyeball the tails. And now I've got The start of a beautiful, beautiful bow. Let's see here. I think I will add, I will put this tail up here. And again, that's the beauty of the Easy Bow Maker. I can move these tails around wherever I want while it's on here and just kind of create on the fly. Okay. This is already super gorgeous, you guys but I'm going to take it up another notch and I'm gonna add another layer of our buffalo check. Let's change this ribbon out. 
and move back in our buffalo check. And then this time I'm gonna go with a much shorter, um, a much shorter tail. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do about an eight inch instead of a 10. And I'm gonna do the twist. And then I'm gonna do about a four inch. Again, I'm looking at the, the thing here, eight to 12, four inches. But I could also look here and see that the four inches down there matches up. Pinch and twist. One more loop here. And about, this one's not twisting, twisting well for me. About another four inches over here. And guys, a lot of this is not science. You just have to do what you do to get it to do what you want it to do. And then there is my second tail. Again, I'm going to eyeball that, give it a snip. There is another layer of our bow. And I think I'm going to um, end it with, I think I wanted to go a little more with this, you guys. Yes, no. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the last section of the second layer that we did. And we're gonna do another two. So we're gonna do eight inches again. We're doing the shorter tails here. Pinch, twist. About a four inch. Again, at this point, I am literally looking at my hoop here because I'm so high up in the ribbon. And then I'm gonna pinch, twist. And I'm gonna do one last. Uh, where's my other one? Here it is. Trying to find my gauge. There we go, about a four inch there. Pinch twist. And then with this, I'm gonna measure this one out too, the same. So again, about that far. And I'm gonna clean these tails up when we're finished, guys. Okay, so we have our bow pretty much how we want it as far as the actual use of the Easy Bow Maker to make this. Okay, let me get our zip tie. So I'm gonna take this with the knob part up or back and then go down underneath, underneath all of these layers right back there and I'm going to pop it out this side and connect it if I did it right y'all it is not the right end <laughs> just flip it over so here, this is important. I just barely got it on here. I'm just gonna loose, do it really loose. And I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna pull it up, okay? So for now, I'm finished with the Easy Bow Maker. I'm gonna set that aside. I've got my bow here. I'm pinching it in the center, pulling my zip tie around to the back. So while I have it back here, keeping it loose, I'm going to add my chenille stem. This is gonna be what we use to hang our bow wherever we want it, okay? Once I have this on here, I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more, but I'm still gonna keep it loose because I'm going to flip it back over and see if all of my 
sections are about the same, or the correct sizes that I wanted them. Okay, that looks about right. Let me flip it back over and tighten it. Okay, now I have a good, nice, tight, tight zip tie. You take those wire cutters that we talked about and snip it right here in the back. Boom, discard that. And now I have a thing to hold my bow with, but let's fluff it and let's move all the parts to where we want them. So I'm moving the two bottom buffalo checks to the center. I've got the second layer of the beautiful burlap with buffalo check. I've got the third layer of just buffalo check. And then I've got the um, last layer of the two-toned um, ribbon as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get these tails where I want them. And then we're going to, I call it mermaid, mermaid tail. My One of my followers um, called it that one time and I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to call it. So that's basically where you just wanna finish out your ribbon. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go from the bottom, the folded side, up. And now it creates this beautiful mermaid tail. I'm gonna do that to all of the ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish to a bow. going to add it here. Now I want to give you a couple of options for ways to embellish your bow. Have you ever thought about embellishing your bow? You don't have to end here. Now of course it depends on exactly what it is you are using your bow for. Are you using it for a package? Are you using it for a wreath? Are you using it for a craft project? Or perhaps you're going to use it around a lantern or maybe even use it on a garland. There's so many things you could use um, a beautiful bow for. But here's a few ideas of how you can, oh, let me sh sh short, shorten a couple of these tails. Hold on. Now you could fuss with this till the cows come home, but um, I am going to just shorten this just a little bit, just a little bit. So one way to finish off the bow is to, I just want that to be similar, um, is to actually, and then this one feels a little too long for me, for my liking, is to actually use another piece of ribbon and tie it off from behind. So basically we would take a little piece of our, whichever ribbon you want. I almost would say, I would say the Buffalo check for this one, about an eight inch piece. Just be very um, unfrugal, be very, um, generous with the amount that you take because you want to be able to tie it. So you can just fold it in half and do you see that little zip tie exposed right there? You can actually tie this on here and flip it around the back and tie it in a knot. So this is one way to finish off your bow in the front if you want to have that look for the finished look. Or, but wait, there's more. You could also opt, let me take this off. You could also, as an option, do one of my favorite things, which is add bling. I call it bling. You could add really pretty embellishments. 
So I will link how you can get to some of these in the description below. But just think if we added a little pop of um, something sparkly, sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, that would make, just make this bow sing my song. What about you? Let me know in the comments below if you like things that sparkle. Okay, so this is something you can either glue down or you can um, use a zip tie and glue the zip tie on it, however you decide. And yeah, this is just a beautiful bow now that you can use to uh, decorate anywhere in your house or especially a really fun wreath. All right, you guys, I hope this tutorial was super helpful. I hope that you um, enjoy videos like this. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It super helps me so that I know exactly who is here and what you want to see. I'll see you guys on the next video. So I almost forgot to share something with you. It is basically one of the easiest, most budget friendly um, bow makers you will ever find. I will link the tutorial in the description below, but I made this little Dollar Tree foam block bow maker um, a year or two ago, and it was such a viral hit on social media. You just take Dollar Tree skewers and poke them in with hot glue, and you have yourself a simple bow maker. Now this is just going to be a helper. It is literally just going to um, help you hold it because it's not going to help you with the measurements unless you put it on a mat like this. Um, and it's not going to help you if you have a huge bow because the easy bow maker had the taller bow holder on here. But for a basic bow, it is going to definitely be able to free up your hands so that you can make a simple bow that looks beautiful every single time just like this one. And you just go back and forth like I showed you in the other tutorial. This is getting to the end of the end of the bow. And boom, you have a beautiful bow, super easy, super budget friendly.